Hello dear esteemed viewers, today I will be walking you through a demo of a decentralized voting system I created on the Agarant blockchain. I created a blockchain, no oh, sorry, I created a smart contract using PyTil. PyTil is a smart contract language used in the Agarant ecosystem for creating smart contracts. So basically what the smart contract does is that it, it enables anyone to register to participate in the voting system trying to move away from our traditional voting system to a decentralized system where the result of the vote can be publicly available and cannot be manipulated by anyone so in this contract before we dive into the demo you need to understand that um, before you can vote you need to have registered after registering you need to you can now cast your vote and then check the results on the blockchain so to get started we are going to connect our wallet you click on this connect wallet so once that is done the wallet is already connected that's why it's like this so let me just refresh so i'll click on connect wallet so it's connected then if i move on to register so this opt-in here handles the registration and then i can enter my password to sign this particular transaction after registering the next thing you want to do is to go and vote so right now i want to vote for bob marley so i click on bob marley and i submit so after submitting i need to sign this contract and if i go to check results here i should be able to see the results of the vote i just casted so this is the application id this is the timestamp at the time that the uh, smart contract was deployed and this is a compile program this is a t program and this is the clear states this the first one is the approval program and this is the clear state and here as you can see bob Mali is not here so before now we what we had was just the creator the registration begin and and all that those are the things we had at the global state so the more votes you, you vote in any of those options there yeah, they are going to be added to this global states and any person that have the highest votes will be declared the winner of the election so that is um, basically it for the voting smart contract so now let's dive into the code so to achieve what i just demoed for the opt-in in order for you to opt-in uh, in order for you to register you need to opt-in and this is what um this is the code for handling the opt-in of the transaction first you need to get the transaction param from the genesis block and then you need to get this who is the sender you need to determine the sender and the index so the sender here is the user of the application the person that is currently trying to vote is the sender and then we need to sign these transactions. We are signing the transactions using the Argos Signer Chrome extension. So, after registering, which is the same thing as opting in in this case, we go to the vote section, which is the code is written in the candidate mode, which handles the voting of voting for a particular candidate. So the no op code is used to handle voting for the candidate because here yeah, we are now passing an argument where we 
determine who we are voting for so passing the choice as an argument to be sent to the blockchain as our candidate that we are voting for so the code basically looks almost like the previous code apart from this section here where you have a good standard of make application no up transaction so this is a no up transaction different from the opt-in transaction so another thing you need to know about the smart contract is if you have read this if you have not registered you can't vote and if you have voted before you can't vote again you uh, you will see some errors pop up and all that so to avoid that you just have to go by the rule of the smart contract so um for detailed explanation on what i just showed you now you can find the code in my github repository and the tutorial the detailed step-by-step -step guide tutorial can be found in the algorand developer platform and um for more uh detailed explanation on sparks on smart contract building on the algorand blockchain writing your smart contract reply to your reach and all that uh you will see uh most of the tutorials on the Agrand developer platforms and um, I will try as much as possible to also do another video session where I specifically will be handling getting started with building your first smart contract, what you need to know about Agrand smart contract and all that. So um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking our time to look or to go through this and um i would appreciate if you can subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so i can continue to do more of this thank you so much really appreciate